Morning folks, today I'd like to show you my home. Uh, it's a articulated bus 1986 model Volvo B10M that I've converted into a living residence. You could call it a mobile home or a tiny home. It's uh, 17 meters long and relatively easy to drive. Five speed automatic, uh, the engine's in the middle of the front. And it's just like towing a, uh, a trailer with a car. So it's quite simple to drive. Incidentally, if you like these videos, I do like to build some crazy sort of stuff. So su subscribe to this channel if, uh, if you want to get more videos like this. But I'll take you for a tour of the inside and then come back out and have a look at the outside. So as we go in, the space or the feel that I like, that I've wanted to create here, is a very open space rather than your typical bus motorhome that seems to be quite cramped when uh, everyone wants to cram in as much stuff as they can. This one has been created to be a very open, social, roomy space. So if we start down the front here, we've got a full sort of galley style kitchen, nice and big with the bamboo tops. Um, soft clothes drawers, new uh, caboodle kitchen they're called from Bunnings in Australia. All new appliances, uh, all new 240 volt appliances. So we've got a dishwasher down there, two 120 litre fridges, a microwave, toaster, blender and a kettle. If we look around the front, little wine rack there. The bus is simple to drive as I've mentioned, it's a five speed auto, just a push, push button, five speed auto. Very simple to drive and it's driven with a, a HR or a heavy rigid license in Australia. Uh, we've got the bin down there, little towel rail, uh, cooker, electric cooker. So there's 12 volt power in this bus and there's 240 volt power as well. So 12 volt coming from the solar panels and 240 volt coming from the mains, uh, a mains input. Um, so a little block of knives there. Got the kitchen sink, it's uh, a thousand litres of water down the back to run the kitchen in the bathroom and if we just while I'm at the front here I'll give you a good look at the ceiling um, I've gone with a corrugated iron and timber look up there just a few sort of features down either side and then the 12 volt lights down the center a nice spacious table nice and roomy you could easily have like a full-size dinner like a proper three-course meal for four to six people uh, which is which is good, that's the experience I wanted to create in this bus. Nice and roomy um, and not cramped. So if you look down here, we've got the uh, inverter, 3000 watt inverter, which converts um, solar power into 240 volt. So you can run 240 volt appliances off that. There's three um, spots where you can plug in up the other end. So that's cool. Um, 14 double power points in this bus. Um, which are connected to the mains power. The windows are covered in a window tint. Um, my girlfriend suggested that I change it from, I had Venetian blinds in here and it was a great idea from her because um, it still allows a lot of light uh, and you can see out over the top but there's also privacy. Plus the Venetians they're hard to clean and they don't travel that well, they sort of rattle around. So down the sides of the walls, corrugated iron and timber work uh, underneath that there and the same on the other side is where the wheels are it's the wheel arches so I've just covered those in I've kept some of the original seats for the lounge area uh, so you can sit there and be nice and sort of look outside look out the door there and converse with whoever's at the table or in the kitchen uh, but nice and comfortable if we keep moving down the back or the middle or the rear of the front section of the bus Here's the solar sort of control unit or the solar unit. I don't know too much about these to be honest, but um, that runs the lights, uh, the pump, and you, as you can see, you can charge your phone off it, um, your little music speakers, anything that's 12 volt, and there's plenty of other fuses left there to add other things to it. And underneath that is the mains power. <clears throat> so down here, this is when you hook, you know, mains power into the bus. Uh, the 14 power points that are in here come alive and they're all protected by um, circuit breakers which is great. One other thing that I've got in here which is this black lead that you can see going around here. I've got a, uh, a permanent um, uh, battery charger so when the bus is hooked up to mains power that battery charger charges the two deep cycle batteries that I've got 
uh, as well as the solar panels charging them as well. They are 120 amp hour batteries, there's two of them, uh, and I'll show you those shortly. Um, just some cupboard space there on both sides. I've kept it quite open. A lot of people will say, oh, why don't you put more storage in there? I don't need it. It's just me and my partner. Um, so some timber work up there. I'll just turn around and give you a good look at the ceiling um, up through there. It's a nice feature. Some corrugated iron down both sides and then some timber work in the middle with the 12 volt lights. Uh, the floor, by the way, is a floating timber look, uh, waterproof, click together floor. I think it's a Gurr floor product. It's uh, pretty sturdy. And so now we'll go through to the, this is the bendy part of the bus, what's known as the bellows. Just like a piano accordion. The bus is parked on an angle, hence it's, uh, it's sort of open on one side and compressed on the other. But uh, plenty of space here to hang some cupboards or to put a dish wa uh, washing machine, dryer combo, uh, more shelves, tool cabinets for, for those of you that like that sort of stuff, can be like your garage. Um, but yeah, the op options are endless, it just uh, depends on what you come up with. Right, moving through to the office section, I've just got a computer set up there. It's a good little space with a 12 volt light up there. Um, tint uh, the frosting on the windows or the tint, and then a desktop computer down there. And there's wireless internet throughout the bus, um, thanks to this little thing, which is called a Netgear Nighthawk. Uh, check it out if you haven't, if you're not aware of them. That uh, they're good. Just you can have up to ten devices connected to it wirelessly, and you can also have your computer connected to it directly. So that's good. Is you can have your iPad throughout the bus or your phone or anything, and just be wirelessly doing what you do. Little shoe rack down there. Um, Go down to the rear of the bus, the Venetian blind there, through the sort of hallway, and there's a rear door which allows for a great breeze, and a set of steps that go outside which aren't connected to the bus, but you get the idea. You need to have some sort of stairs there to and a door closer on the uh, on there. If we move into the bathroom, so we've got a full-size bathroom. There's a nice little vanity there or a bowl. Um, with the, uh, with the water cruising along, there's a mirror up there. Plywood sort of feature walls with a black silicon sort of infill, I guess. Proper toilet down there. Uh, some storage over the top. And then a big, nice big curved glass shower. And then up the top here, we've got a, uh, another 12 volt light and a vent and a, and a fan that sucks the air out when you turn that on. Um, and then just a, uh, an open and close hatch to let the air in and out. So as we go into the bedroom, nice big bedroom. This bedroom's four meters long by about 2.4 wide. King size bed. Uh, we've got the Venetian blinds in here. Uh, a little bit of timber work and iron again. The 12 volt light up there. Some storage for your clothes in there. These are like cloth boxes that you just pull in and out, which are good when you're traveling because they don't move around. And then a set of uh, chest of drawers there. And a, uh, a panel heater here because it gets quite cold where I am. A thousand meters above sea level in Armadale, New South Wales, Australia. A bit more iron. So that's the inside of the bus. It's 40 square meters, which is a big area for a bus. Uh, it's got you know, it's it's options for living in a, a many. You could have it as a mobile home to cruise around, or you could set it up on a block of land to live out of whilst you're building uh, a house, or you could even just set it up and live out of it without building a house. It's uh, it's ready to go. Crockery, knives and forks, all the appliances. It's got its own power, lights and pumps. Um, yeah, it could be a kid's retreat or a granny flat. Um, promotional vehicle, party bus, you know, there's a lot of different options, but uh, I like the size of it as opposed to just a normal school bus because you've got about an extra 15 square meters, uh, which allows you to sort of get away from each other when you need to, one down the back and one up the front. So just a quick look around the outside, solar batteries or deep cycle batteries under here. There's two 120 amp hour batteries there and the solar controller. There's enough space for another four of those batteries in there, which would give you about 700 plus hours uh, of amp hours of solar batteries. 
two solar panels on the roof, two 250 watt solar panels up there uh, with much more space to add as many panels as you like. Um, one of the beauties of the bus being so big, there's a lot of roof area that you can put solar panels on. So as we cruise down the back, there is a water tank, a thousand litre water tank, which is under the bed and uh, it's just in the back here. You can't really see it that well, but I'll show you. Just sits in there, thousand litres, aluminium with baffles in it so that uh, the water doesn't slosh around when you're in transit and some space above it for more storage set of stairs there that's the rear door and then under the bus you could mount a lot of different items there's lots of room underneath the bus um, but just down the side here I've got these two doors open so you can see where you could put a, uh, a nice big generator under there or a tool chest or more water um, anything you can think of there's lots of room under there there's a water point that fills up the uh, the water and there's another one at the rear and then here's the power 15 amp power input which powers all the uh, mains power stuff inside so that's pretty much it for the bus um, thank you for watching this video uh, leave some comments below and if you are interested in buying this bus just uh, send me an email because uh, it is for sale and yeah it's a uh, it's cool, I like it. I spent two years working on it. Um, there's just other ways to to live rather than bricks and mortar. And uh, I think this is, a, this is a good idea. So uh, thanks for watching. My name's Nick Jordan. Bye for now.